Um, I haven't been able to keep up with a lot of the Oklahomies uh, since uh, since the end of Smash 4. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been able to travel near there. Because, uh, like, whenever I was, like, dealing with that, um, the Oklahoma people that I knew, they would be, like, um, Chuck Nasty. Well, also, Oklahoma is also split into, like, multiple parts, I believe. Because, um, like, whenever I'm thinking Oklahoma, I'm thinking, like, uh, I am thinking Muse. I am thinking Chuck Nasty. Those are the people that I normally think about. And now, let's see where we're going to start off with. We're going off J12 Agent. J12 Agent. <laughs> All right. So, Town and City. This is going to give a lot of room for both of these characters. It's going to give room for Falcon to try to, like, extend some combos and keep Rob juggling in the air. While this is also going to give room for Rob to set up any trap that he wants. He sets up those projectiles using the side beam armor to get through. Nice fight, J12. Oh, okay, no, no, I get you, I get you, yeah. Uh, let's see, that was not the position that Agent was in. Oh, nice tech, even though it's Wi-Fi. All right, there we go. I believe I got my microphone set. <laughs> <laughs> so, J12 is doing really good, but oh, that spike not going to be enough, not enough percent on J12 to send him down. J12, this man is a madman. He is overly aggressive. That's what you want with a Falcon. Ooh, that downbeat, though. Downbeat, though. So, there's not a lot of Falcons well, anywhere in general. There hasn't uh, been a lot of them in Arkansas ever since the transition to Ultimate. So... Using that Nair, trying to be safe with that. That is one of... You were talking about how Rob does have a lot of safe tools. And Nair is definitely one of them. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Nair, Nair is just a big, sweeping, uh, big hitbox. Goes all around them. Oh, but man, J12 This man trying almost. to go. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> trying to go for the stomp. J12 is affectionately referred to in the North Dakota scene as our crackhead falcon. And for good reason. <laughs> this dude is not afraid to take anybody head on. And will jump in Ooh, to, nice to the most dangerous right situations. There. Yes, Rob, Rob with a very good read getting that off smash, taking that first stock. Uh, two apiece right now, but J12 having a slight lead. Yep. Well, that's the thing is that whenever like, you're kind of dealing with this, the percent lead isn't necessarily going to be what you're really looking at, especially since like Rob is such a large body, right? Whenever Falcon gets these up air combos, he's going to go from zero to 70 real quick, but how J12 is going to try to sell off these last 50, 60% is going Ooh. to be the main kicker, and oh, catching him out! So you were saying that, uh, has no this, fear. <laughs> I was saying. this little kicker? <laughs> oh man. This man had no fear. That was absolutely terrifying. J12 had Agent stuck on the platform and was following him off the stage. That was absolutely scary. And you're gonna get the knee! And he's oh gonna take it! Oh my god, the knee! Oh my god. <laughs> like you said, Rob is such a large body. He is. It's, it's his biggest problem. Like, granted, Rob has a lot of good tools, but like, one, one thing to keep in mind is Rob actually struggles against a character called Bayonetta, who a lot of people think is very, very bad in the game. The reason being, Bayonetta loves those big bodies, and Rob just oh, cannot no. handle that type of pressure. As you can see right there, <laughs> Big body kind of led to uh, getting two stocked uh, at the very mm -hmm. first there. So, we're going to have to find out who our Goodness. next guy coming in is. That edge guarding though on that second stock, I will say, like, because Rob, you know, he can get into, he can throw out a hitbox if he wants to, but innately that up B occasionally leaves him like a sitting duck, especially since, like, you can't, whenever um, you throw out an aerial, you're, like, you're, you're not boosting anymore. Too. And so it's just kind of like a really dangerous game. So J12 just really took advantage of that. He threw out that Nair and he basically caught him. Caught Agent unaware. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, I have the pleasure of doing commentary for this guy pretty often when we have our locals. And right. every day, every day, it's a treat. This, this dude's an absolute lunatic. <laughs> See, Falcon is fun to watch. Not necessarily fun to play against, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it depends on who you're playing against. But if I do remember correctly, let me check here real quick. Um, our most recent uh, PR for North Dakota, J12 right. is our number seven at the moment. So, huh. yeah, North Dakota, generally a smaller smash scene. Some, some maybe consider it maybe, you know, not as up to par as some of the other smash scenes. But when you just watch what we just watched right there, you might not think so. J12 is... is <laughs> He's super good, man. <laughs> He's super good. So now I wonder who they're going to send in. Because that... 
because I'm trying to look through. I, I'm only halfway sure on the entire list that we have. I, I remember that we have Maki, we have Happy, uh, Keldeo, who was a Pac-Man, had to drop out. It's a shame. Because um, that's where he was founded, basically. Like, he was a, a Wi-Fi warrior. So this is something that he was just kind of used to. Let's see. I know that... I think four to five? Uh, Chers? Is that who's coming in next? Chers said PS2 in the Discord chat, so that's what I'm trying to figure ah. out. Or Chris. Chris. <laughs> well, in, in the Discord, his name is Chers. <laughs> oh! Oh, man, I, I completely read it as Chris. <laughs> well, I mean, like, in the, uh, the Twitch chat, uh, Arc Fighters is saying Chris. But when I look at <laughs> the Discord chat, I see Chers. But we see Chris on the screen, so we're going to go Chris. Oh, yeah, I think I think this is Fortified, if I remember correctly. I, I think this may be Fortified. He followed me on Twitter earlier. Yeah, this man, the Yoshi, going to combat aggressive rushdown with aggressive rushdown. Okay, so Chris is a Yoshi main. Very mm -hmm. interesting. Because, yep. like, now you're not going to have that big body character that Rob was. You know, doesn't have that good of get off me off. Uh, especially whenever they're air. However, Yoshi is definitely not that type of character. He has Nair, he has double jump armor, that reductive armor that starts at frame one, that frame three Nair, and the best mobility, aerial mobility in the game outside of, uh, you know, a few other factors. Yeah. So, but yeah, but this uh, this double jump armor is going to be the real saving grace here. Obviously, right there, seeing him get out of that combo, and uh, might be able to eat, just even eat a couple moves straight up. Uh, we're going to see how J12 adapts his game plan to, uh, <laughs> that's one way to do it, to uh, kind of get these stocks out of the way, see if he can get a couple out for, uh, for team, you know, airman fights. Because that is the position that you want to be in, if you're J12, to take off at least even just one more stock. Um, because of the fact, like, you've already did your job, you've gone net even, you took, you two-stocked the person that you were supposed to go against the first, the Rob main. Um, and so anything that you have now is just kind of extra credit. Oh, absolutely. And two stocks? Should be able to get a stock in here somewhere, hopefully. <laughs> Ooh, that up smash, and that's what people don't understand, is that that up smash on Falcon is incredibly safe. Oh, it's safe, it's huge, it's fast. The end lag might be a little bit, but... Oh, what? Good. Gonna take that first Going to stop. get the down B, yeah. Yeah, it was a good good read there. Uh, Chris at about 163%. Gonna have to see if J12 close the stock out and give us uh, a little bit of extra Yep, that's going to do it. And there he is, four stocks for J12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fortify needs to be really careful. That's the second time that he got caught off the roll with that upbeat, that command grab. Right, well, here we're gonna get a little bit of a string. Oh, gonna get out of that double jump armor. Yeah. <laughs> Using some armor of his own as an anti-air. Oh, he was looking for that first hit there into another combo. But instead, caught a face full of that frame three air. Now you see Fortified, he's basically kind of doing what J12 was doing against Rob, where he was just kind of chasing him in the air and he was keeping that pressure. Oh, that double jump armor gonna save him from the weak hit in air. Gonna live, good nice. the eye. <laughs> Yeah, but also nice read, catching that jump off the ledge, softening, setting up to a really interesting tech situation, but unfortunately not reading the roll correctly. I'm oh, gonna get that back here, put Chris off stage, see if you can do anything with it. Oh, oh my goodness, red, red, <laughs> the down B threw it out. <laughs> Man, okay, so apparently this nice Yoshi's job. not fortified, <laughs> according to Maki Buzz. <laughs> oh, is it not? Oh, yeah. super, oh, super good read though. Getting that, uh, getting that catch out of that Falcon kick there. All right, good stuff. Uh, unfortunate, Chris was uh, lost a stock there, but was able to knock J12 out. Um, you know, kind of a kind of a big play for us. Obviously, creates a lot of energy, so we're going to, have to see if that momentum can carry over to our next competitor. This is kind of like, it's a good thing that this is a good position, at least for Chris right now. You didn't, you only losing two or only losing one stock is something that you can make up, you know? Yeah. Anyway, good, good show from uh, J12. They're able to take four stocks down. 
Um, just, just some, <laughs> just some good stuff all around. All right, so we got our next player that's gonna be coming in. So we're gonna be looking to see what these bands are. All right, so they're going to ban Battlefield and Kalos. I will say I got respect for Chris using the turtle mind as a profile pick. <laughs> right, just getting this information out here real quick. Uh, oh, hey, uh, thanks for the host, man. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, Deca Wolf Official. Good stuff. <laughs> In here, there he is. So we're gonna get our stage pick in here real quick. As soon as we get that, we'll be able to get this game started here. <laughs> so uh, Thorold is a uh, banjo man. Um, oh, a banjo man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be very no. interesting to see how this. I've never seen this match out play out. Uh, match out play out. Uh, <laughs> he plays banjo. That's all you had to say. <laughs> it's banjo and it's Wi-Fi. Oh my goodness! This is going to be um, interesting to say the least. You know, it is really. What is really interesting to me is say because Banjo was so requested. He's been requested since Melee, since Brawl. Such a widely requested character, and it's gotten now to where he's just kind of like widely hated because of the, his play style. He's oh yeah, just no. This really <laughs> good zoner, this annoying zoner, because no one really likes playing against the zoner. And I say this is someone that plays me gunner. Like no one likes playing or even watching a lot of times projectile heavy characters. And to see this kind of like swap with Banjo, that a character everyone wanted, everyone loved, to where we're dealing with it now. Uh, it's interesting to say the least. And so we're going to see if he can set up this grenade wall with eggs as well. Yeah, already getting a quick 28% uh, right there, almost 40. Uh, Obviously, when this type of thing comes out, when players are first playing against each other, there's always a bit of like feeling out the sort of neutral and see what kind of follow-ups and uh, reactions that people have. So we're gonna see a lot of that for this first stock for sure. Uh, already down one Wonder Wing. Uh, but yeah, I guess he was trying to read like an immediate ledge get up. But I, I'm very surprised at how up close and personal that thorough is. Oh yeah, no, I, I played uh, against him when we, uh, we first held our little tryouts going on and he is, Absolutely okay with getting right up in there and just putting some damage down as fast as he can. Which I wonder if whenever you're dealing with Yoshi of all characters, a character that really wants to be stronger. Oh my god! That really Wonder he Wing was on that platform, nowhere to go. Because if he just got up, he, he didn't normal get up. If he rolled back, he was going to get caught on that side B. All right, no, that was just absolutely really, really good tech chase there with the uh, Wonder Wing onto the platform. <laughs> what was that conversion oh, by the <laughs> falling aerial into F Smash? That is some big brain stuff. Oh, Yoshi looking for this quick uh, spike right there. Chris able to, to maintain uh, his composure, get back to the stage, and kind of get some stage control. Thorough, though, calling out the jump. These aerials using the Nair as well an anti air. Got a little egg battle going on, though. Ooh, look for the grab. He's <laughs> using the arm for the double jump to power through that grenade. <laughs> Yoshi, uh, uh, you know, just able to go through grenades. It's just how it is. <laughs> oh, is he going to get caught? Yeah. Oh, oh I'm surprised that killed, actually. I was like, I was thinking, I was like, is he going to go for an up smash to punish this? But Could have been a DI thing, but regardless, we'll give credit uh, where credit is due, and he <laughs> took a sack right there. All right, yeah, he got a punish, and... Hey, if it works, if it gets the kill, then honestly, it's the right punish. Let's be real. Ooh, looking for that forward, uh, forward air to come out of that grenade combo. Uh-oh. Oh, the spike. Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he's Didn't... fine. Banjo, such a good 
a recovery. Oh, it's very, basically very good. infinite. It is an infinite recovery in the water wing. wing. He's oh, gonna the eye though. He's gonna live. <laughs> oh, he's he's just throwing he's these out careful. now. Oh, uses the oh, but caught him. Read that Ooh. herb. Just basically reacted that roll. Yeah, very good. Very good stuff by Fall Over getting that up smash out. Um, they're all hanging alive. Yeah, I think right now it's uh, what's what's the score? Five, five to six. Yeah. All right. I think I it's uh, Airman Fight's favor. Or, no, it would be uh, seven to six. What is, wait, no, 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 no. We have 15 people. It would be 10 to nine. We have 15, 15 stocks. 15 oh, yeah, yeah. Stocks. I, I, I was, count, I was counting how many people. stocks taken, not stocks coming oh. down. But yeah, yeah. No, you're, you're right. You're That's right to do it that bad. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right to do it that way. <laughs> What we had is a failure to communicate. Yeah. So we're just gonna figure out these bands. All right. Uh, bands. Yeah. The bands like PS2. So, uh, out of your guys that you have left, which are who are they again? Um. So I don't have a full list. I, I, okay. was, I don't think I was ever given a full list. Looks like we I got know. Tron, Dream Team Happy. Oh. oh, God. We got Tron, Happy, and Mackie. All right. Bet. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it looks like we got Happy. Happy the Pichu main. Play, he plays Pichu, and he also plays Villager, I think. But I believe that Pichu is his main in this game. Okay. I will say, I got to give a wonderful shout-out to my man, Happy, uh, who was one of my biggest... He. Uh, there was a small online uh, problem that we had yesterday involving me uh, that I'm not going to get too into depth on. Uh, but he was one of the main people that was just kind of like still backing me on that and helped get me uh, unmuted for the 24 hours. <laughs> uh, so big shout outs to Happy. This man is a warrior fighting for Arkansas and social justice right now. And we're going to see if he can nail off this stock without losing one of his own. Alright. So we'll say Pichu. Taking his stage pick here real quick. But anyway, you were saying something about Pichu? <laughs> um, Pichu, you know, he's still a good character, even despite the nerf. Um, he may not be a top five character like he was prior, but he still is a pretty good rushdown character. Has a little bit of issue just kind of like sealing away stocks now since he doesn't have that F tilt. But with this character, he still he still works. Still works. Well, I guess we're going with that. Oh no, he's playing villager. <laughs> Which honestly I don't I don't blame him considering the matchup that he is dealing with right here. You know, rush down playing rush down is difficult on my fight. Oh, for sure. Especially when you got a character, uh, for some, a lot of rushdown characters are very execution heavy. Like you got your Sheiks, you got your Jokers, uh, you got a few other characters too. And what, just getting those, um, those, uh, those executions to really go off is kind of a problem for some people. But mm -hmm. some people are making it work. I don't know if you saw Void when he was playing Sheik in that, uh, online tournament the other day. <laughs> right. A couple, a couple weeks ago, he was doing some stuff, man, let me tell you. Oh yeah, and Esam, you know, he still does really well. This man, he can get Nair loot online. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with he, he kind of has to play online for the content, so he's a little more comfortable with it. <laughs> Plus, it's Esam, man. He's, he's the best Pikachu in the world. That is true. He's godlike. <laughs> yeah, now, he is godlike. I wonder how happy he's going to deal with, because whenever you find a Banjo, whenever you expect a Banjo, you're expecting someone that is really campy, that's not going to be up in your face. However, in third role, his time kind of defined the mold. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now, he's really aggressive. Yeah, he, he's, right he's, he's, he's got people no like one. So many delayed hitboxes because of those balloons. I don't think it's the balloons. It's also because he's doing the Wonder Ring at, at the ledge there. And uh, yeah. that's kind of well, what like keeps at first, him... Well, I, I do know that it kind of like delays a little bit whenever you hit the ledge. But also that balloon delayed the Wonder Ring. Ooh. And extended the hitbox. Oh, we'll go. And, Ooh, and he's going oh, at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful. Got you want to die after that. Happy, I guess, was trying to re-roll on from a mile away, but... Hey, I respect when he started the smash attack and he knew he wasn't going to get the roll, he just sat there and charged it. <laughs> I mean, might as well. Oh, 
know this is gonna be it. Yep. Oh hey. goodness, that's he unfortunate. Yeah, he tried to go for a little bit of cheese there. <laughs> but good stuff, good stuff. He tried, uh, he tried getting that early stock, trying to get one more stock off. Really appreciate the uh, the effort uh, on something like that. Yeah. I think he went positive. Oh no, he or went even. I'm pretty sure he didn't. No, he went even. He, he took, he took three either. stocks because he took the two off Yoshi and then he took one right there. So right now we got one guy going four stocks, one guy going three stocks, man. I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk, you know, talk any trash, but. Okay, so here's the thing, though. Here <laughs> is the thing. All right, what's, what's the thing? Hold up, hold up. I, I have not. You can't talk trash because our heavy hitters haven't come out yet. Makiba's okay. one of the arguably the strongest Smash player in Arkansas. He's okay. part of the top. He is the big three. Whenever you're discussing top one in Arkansas, there's three names that come up. You have Phenom, you have Mackie, and you have Danby. Okay. And out of all of these, only one of them is, has a PGR win. And that Which, is Makiba's. Ooh, who, who is uh, Makiba B? Uh, Nine Tono. Me and Tono. Okay, okay. That's 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 pretty big, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. And so we have him, and we have Tron. We have Tron, the number two in Central Arkansas. Who? This man is a ridiculous. He's a ridiculous Pikachu. And it doesn't matter right now, though, because we're banking on our man Happy. Happy is also a PR, not PR and Ultimate. No, he is uh, top. Three, I want to say in melee. Oh, he's a melee he's player. Yeah, he's a melee player. If he's not top three, then dang it, he should be. Uh, let's see here. Trying to figure out what these bands are going to be real quick. Uh, speaking of melee, though, uh, one of the guys that was going to be on our main roster but wasn't able to make it today, Envoy, uh, he's mm -hmm. uh, a K rule main for us. <laughs> right. And uh, he plays ultimate because the melee scene in North Dakota is actually like pretty much dead. Oh. <laughs> So. Oh man, I understand how that feels. We have a similar issue with Arkansas to where the ultimate scene is a lot bigger than the melee. And don't even get me started on PM. PM died. PM completely died. Uh, but yeah, but we got we got Project Plus coming around. Yeah, that is true. Um, I can only support P uh, Project Plus because it has nothing. Yeah. That's the only reason I care about Project Plus. Because oh. of his knuckles. But the good thing so is about happy. our player Envoy, he's actually uh, he's got orders to California that are coming way later. But mm. California happens to be one of like the meccas of Smash in America, at least. So, oh no, so definitely. He'll, he'll North Cal, SoCal. Yep, he'll have plenty of good oh, times man. out there. Mm -hmm. He's going to get that level up. We in Memphis, we had a player. Uh, oh goodness, I, I I get his name. His actual name escapes me. But basically, he was a little 12 year old who would talk so much crap. But he had the skill to do it. And what the fox, too. We, we took him, and I called him Flapjack because he's just like a little scrawny 12 year old with curly blonde hair. And he looked like Flapjack, and I called him Flapjack. And he would talk so much crap to where he's calling out people. And there's just like this one adult, and he just like, gets tired of it. He's like, hey, kid, screw you. Money match me. <laughs> and the kid just starts like talking even more crap. And he's talking, he's talking about how like how crap this adult is as a character. And the kid goes, he's like, alright, I'll play you with your own name. Who do you mean? He's like, oh I play Falcon. He's like, I'll beat you with Falcon. And the little kid three stalked him. <laughs> three stalked this adult. Top smack could back it up. Good stuff. <laughs> it was By the way, Chase. I guess the name is Chase. Chase, yep. that is his name. Yeah, Chase <laughs> yeah. is his name. <laughs> So figuring out our stages here. Sorry for the delay, everybody, but we're trying to get this figured out as best as we can. But it would have a level up every time, like he went to California, because he would go through there. He would uh go back. I think I can't remember. I think like he normally lived there, and he would come to Arkansas in the summer. Yeah. So he would always come back in the summer, having this level up. Memphis. Why did I say? Did I say Arkansas? <laughs> Whoops. I'm only saying Arkansas because uh, I, I'm thinking, you know, Arkansas is just kind of like the deal with the, yeah, the man, theme. Yeah, the feedback Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. I'm a professional hole digger. If you, that's what I do on my day job. I dig holes, dig ditches for a living. 
And as you can see, I'm just going to dig my hole further. We have the second Yoshi. Yup, this is Taffy. This is our Yoshi main on our team. Uh... All right, so we're getting into our next game here, which we got our boy Taffy uh, taking on Happy. Uh, Happy just loses stock. That is correct. <laughs> yes, he. And so, what do you think? How do you think this is going to go? Um. So one thing I know with Taffy is Taffy is very, very aggro heavy. He looks for his conversions. Um, as soon as he gets that conversion on anything, he's, he's gonna throw it out. So one thing that I notice a lot with him is that he'll go for a grab, right? And whenever he goes for that grab, he looks for that jump every time off stage because he's trying to get that spike, that forward air going off. So be sure to look out for that a lot. And thank you to uh, B Drakes for the follow, man. Appreciate that. Oh, looking for Calling out the jump with the bear. So, I feel like that over-aggressive play style that you're talking about that Taffy would utilize is going to be really effective against Villager. Oh, hopefully. You know, Villager, like, you know, he's that set-up heavy character, all those projectiles, and he is one of the projectile characters that does have a decent get-off-me option with the Nair. Yeah. But still, you know, you kind of want to get in his face and just kind of smother him so he can't set up this wall of gyroids, these Lloyd rockets. Oh, okay. So I, seems like that Lloyd rocket's going to be... Ooh, a big deal. Oh, Gotta kill him with a tree. <laughs> he called him out. <laughs> called him out with that tree. He landed a tree on him. Well, hopefully he doesn't get too brain dead after smashing his head off the floor there a couple times after the stock. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. Is that it's not going to be a match with Happy if he's not teabagging if he's winning because that's Ooh. the kind of player that he is. But <clears throat> well, we're gonna take that stock right back and we're gonna get right, yeah, right no, to the next stock here. <laughs> Happy is not phased by this. Oh no, Taffy. Got him with a pair. From what I, what, from my game time with Taffy, I can tell you straight up, I, I, we played a lot of games. I could get some of the cheesiest games on him. He's gonna go into the next game, same play style, same game plan. He's just gonna go in, go hard. Does he just not get phased very much? Mm -hmm. But Taffy, man, Taffy here's kind of putting up a decent wall right now. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, not Taffy, I mean Happy. Yeah. So we're gonna see if he can get another stock here to help out the, the Arkansas boys. Oh, he's going in. It would definitely help. Oh, and there's that. Oh, there's that four arrows talking thing. about. <laughs> Heavy distance that Villager's recovery provides. It's a very vulnerable recovery. I will say yes. that. Um, like you saw how on that first dog, that's how Taffy took it off. Like he fair, he spiked down that upbeat because it doesn't have a hitbox, even though that it's decently fast and it goes an incredible distance. It's incredibly vulnerable. It has no hitbox. Ooh, and that forward smash gonna take Villager off stage. Gonna see what happens here. And the forward air yep. is gonna take the stock. Taffy sealing it away, keeping two mm -hmm. stocks for the Air Force team. Yep, he didn't have very many options to go, especially Taffy. Like, he was on that last stock, so Taffy could basically do whatever he wanted. If he wanted to overextend, he was safe in the fact that any of his aerials would have killed that far off. He didn't need the spike for that fair, it would have killed horizontally. Nair, the strong hit of Nair probably would have killed. Um, and without that hitbox that Villager has, and I'm pretty sure Fair wouldn't have done too much because it's a projectile and that would have just got nullified by any aerial that he had thrown out. Nair might have been a little bit too, like the end lag might have just kind of made it really suspect, you know? Yeah. It was so, put enough. Let's see, we've got, you guys have who left it and Mackie and who else? We have Tron and Mackie, and so I wonder if they're going to use Mackie as the anchor? <clears throat> uh, I mean, I guess, I guess we'll see right after this. Uh, just trying to see yeah, what our stage from Taffy's going to be. But yeah, uh, absolutely good stuff. Probably, from what I know from what we have left on our team, that was probably the best play for us. Uh, Villager has a very good uh, thing, very good game plan about uh, disrupting people with uh, projectiles. And our last two players, not going to spoil who, kind of mm -hmm. a little projectile heavy. So I'm, I'm pretty happy we got the Yoshi in there and he got rid of that Villager. We didn't have to worry about him too much. Right. <clears throat> So we got our bands in. Looks like Taffy's gonna be banning 
Lilac and Kalos. Oh man, oh man. This is some really good stuff today. This is actually really competitive. It's a really good time. What is it? The other the other couple weeks ago, when we were just getting our team really started, uh, we went against the Army team. And the Army esports team, you know, they act, they got an actual esports scene within the... Uh... Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm just changing uh, the music oh. on. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, it's what's fine. the matter? You don't like... Uh... It was on <laughs> Floral Fury. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you don't, you don't like uh, the Wario wear? <laughs> Oh no, no! Oh man, I changed the Wario. I changed the Wario wear music almost immediately. What the? This sounds I'm not great. Gonna... Oh no, it's great, but man, it's hard to beat Cuphead music and nah, Undertale. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh no, this man. He was he was hoping for for funky butter, uh, butterscotch. He was hoping for. Uh, Persona music. Yeah. But right. Tron, Aleo, Tron, this man, the Pikachu main. Arkansas, Central Arkansas, number two. He is... Also, he... This man is one of the few Smash players in the entire... In the total scene, global scene, that has won Jeopardy. He's what? He's won Jeopardy. Like, he went on Jeopardy? He his, yeah, he went on Jeopardy... And one. So he's big brain. <laughs> he is big brain. He's big, big brain, brain, big hair, big play style, big, big talent. This man is big believe. Big brain from the playing big Pikachu. State of Arkansas. This might be a problem for us. We're gonna see how we can get into our next game here. Mm -hmm. So Taffy. Whoa, 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 Taffy, whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we'll reset, reset. I think I think he was just really anxious to get in there, so we'll just we'll just restart that real quick. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get right back into this. We're gonna we're gonna do this properly. Also, I want to say not only did Tron win um, a show of Jeopardy, he went slightly viral because of his answer on the final Jeopardy was like, it doesn't matter what the answer is because I just won. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, no, he was like banking on the other two not winning. They're not getting the answer right. And they didn't, this man just pulled out this extreme big brain moment. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, anyway, we're gonna be getting into our next game for real this time. We're gonna drop our stock and here we go. I'm actually really disappointed that even though they're using the final stage, there is no Metopia music going on. I mean, it's one of those Nintendo stages that they just put a bunch of the other music on. So I think what? Oh no. Uh, Cuphead songs on here, uh, Megalovania. And so this is going to be a really interesting matchup. We're going to see how Tron is going to deal with the aerial approach of Yoshi. Because like that fair is going to be really good to just kind of like uh, stick out there. Yeah. To see how Taffy's going to kind of like weave around it. That and the uh, the double jump armor is going to help Taffy survive uh, when he starts getting maybe some of these back air chains that Pikachu's kind of known for as well. Oh, he's looking for those forward airs hard. He wants that stock immediately. Mm -hmm. Using the Thunder Jolt Bird into the Nair, into the Town Smash, hacking on some extreme damage. Ooh. Leo really trying, trying to get some of these. Not going to be enough to kill. Yeah, Leo trying to get some of these dash back uh, forward smashes. Going to be able to secure that first stock though. And that fair though, just you know, that's how you see a lot of Pikachu's kind of get their seal off their stocks is that they catch their opponent near the blast zone when they're trying to recover. They hit them with that fair. Oh. The air loop there, but oh, we got the air loop. Air loop on Wi-Fi. It's possible, man. Pikachu ain't bad on Wi-Fi. It's just, it's just a matter of do you know what you're doing? And Leo apparently very well does know what he's doing. Poor Taffy accidentally getting that side beat. I'm assuming it's an accident because I there's no way any Yoshi main ever does that in front of purpose. 
nice jab right there, catching Leo. Leo was trying to catch the landing with a fit F smash. That's what he's trying to do a lot. Yeah. Leo is trying to end this stock really early. <laughs> he was trying to catch the landings with the S smash, but it doesn't matter. What did I say, man? Or had the hitters <laughs> worn out yet? Yeah, you, you were right on that one. Uh, so, <laughs> I guess we're going to have to see what happens from there. Oof. Oof. Yeah, uh, a bit rough, but you know what? You know, we, we st we're, still getting, we're still getting some of our other play. It's, it's even now, right? It's even? All right, yeah, it's even. Good it stuff, good even. stuff. All right, we got our next player coming in. We just got to figure out what these bands are. You know, as far as Wi-Fi goes, this is doing really well. Honestly. For sure, for sure. This is going better than any of the major tournaments you see. There's no lag. Uh, Cosmos isn't here to lag test anybody whenever he's down two stocks. All right, so it looks like our bands are going to be PS2 and Yoshi's. Going to get our tag in here real quick so they can see each other's chat. But yeah, no, Leo did a did a very good job there. Uh, Leo, uh, uh, I always Trine. think Leo. <laughs> Wait, MK. Right, yeah, nah. uh, Leo or Trine, Trine really. Yeah, it's usually what he is his tag. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we just go with Tron. Tron, uh, very good stuff though. Um, I obviously knew what he was doing with Pikachu. Played really patient there. Waited out the, mm -hmm. you know, the the, the aggression that La uh, Taffy was showing, and just kind of exploited uh, some of that some of that extra aggro that just you know maybe maybe wasn't super needed. But either way, good played the both uh, both players. Uh, we're getting to our last couple, Brad Keenan as well. Right. Yeah. We are at even to last two players, last two participants. We're going to see how this... Because, you know, a lot of times whenever you're in these crew battles, you save your anchors, you save your better players for last mm -hmm. to make sure that you don't get... You know, to reverse any momentum. That's what Tron did. He reversed that momentum and finally evened out the stock count for the first time for Arkansas. This is the beginning of this crew battle. Yeah. Since we have Alchemy? Yeah, this is uh, this is our, uh, <laughs> our guy, Snake Tribe. <laughs> So he I'm goes sorry. by Alchemy on Switch. Uh, so Snake Tribe. Oh, Snake Tribe. Oh, he yes. plays Snake. Yeah, yes, he does. <laughs> oh, goodness. So we're going to begin to our next save. Snake goodness. Tribe, uh, last PR, not this, this most recent one, but the last PR from North Dakota. He was number two, got deployed mm. to Guam for a bit, made oh. number three in the Guam PR. So this dude's worldwide. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And this is going to be very interesting to see. Central Arkansas doesn't really have a lot of snakes, I will say. Mackie does. Mackie is the one that has the snake experience, but it doesn't matter. Because if I remember right, no, 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 never mind. Uh, I'm thinking of a different player. But, oh, our first. Oh, no, I got booted out. But you said you were thinking, or if you remember right. I got, I got booted out. Oh, you got booted out? Oh, okay, well, yeah, I got booted I guess, out. Don't worry, dude. I'll do this like it's a uh, one of those old uh, radio sports shows. <laughs> and Snake Tribe oh, drops a C4, hitting uh, Pikachu. Tron gets a throw off stage on against the Snake. Snake's recovered to the stage. Pikachu misses a Thunderbolt. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm but going right now, to... It's a, it's a little... I'm commenting... What's up? I'm commenting from the... I'm going to look at the stream. Oh, okay. Bye. All right, well, hey, I bet you uh, I'll know who dies first before you do, so we'll make a bet. No, on you that. probably yeah, will. Um, uh, I'll put $100 that I get whoever dies first. Uh, <laughs> I'm not allowed to gamble, man. <laughs> I have what you would call a problem. But, but yeah, right now, um, it's uh, Snake Tribe got a bit of a lead there. Uh, 152 on Pikachu. Can't take too many more of the explosives. And gonna take oh, yeah, the first no. stop. Oh, oh, did he? Yeah, I was about to say, even just like whenever you're that kind of high percent to get snake, uh, it's extremely stressful because a lot of times, like, he kind of forces you in shield with all those projectiles, and then if you get grabbed it, you know, 150, 160, it goes into a confirm and up tilt, and yeah. 
And obviously we'll Snake is a, is a bigger and heavier body, so he is subject, uh, susceptible to some of these combos that Pikachu likes to throw out. However, with a lot of these, like these frame one grenades, that's going to be the, uh, the saving grace for Snake out of these combos half the time. Mm -hmm. Especially like if that's it. There's one frame to get out of. It's not going to be a combo against his character. It kind of reminds it's basically like the same with Duck Hunter Yoshi. Yeah. Um, you have to be tight and consistent and know your stuff. Know what's the difference between a string and something that's true and firm. Yeah. And uh, Snake Tribe, very, very knowledgeable with his character. Uh, he does a lot of labbing. Uh, when there's new Snake Tech coming out, he's always on top of it. Uh, but you're going to see a lot of these grenade uh, B reverses. He, he likes to keep his movement fresh with Snake. Um, so be sure to be, be, uh, be on the lookout for a lot of that. Gonna be dropping these grenades. There we go, that grenade getting him out of there. Seems to be at a high percent too. At least from what I can know. The, the stream won't even load for me. I get like oh if I refresh it, I get a still shot a still screenshot every so often. <laughs> and the one that I have has him at like 180%. <laughs> Alright, well right now it's two stocks apiece. Snake off stage with Tron having the lead. Oh, Snake able to get back to stage, no problem. Oh, gonna miss that back here. Right, so they're kind of feeling each other going back to neutral here. Uh, ooh, that grenade gun saving from the Thunderbolt, actually. And it seems like it's kind of just going back and forth and just trying to both find their own opening right now. Uh, Snake obviously setting up walls if, the way he needs to, especially at a high percentage like this. You don't really want to get caught by a Pikachu and get, you know, get moved, uh, wow, <laughs> go down a stock. Place. It's a wonderful movement option. Really good burst. Just kind of a burst mobility. There we go, using that quick attack to get back to center stage. But Snake Tribe with the advantage right now. Uh-oh. Right. Gotta get off that top platform. That's a really scary place for Snake to be, especially at 146. Ooh, the yeah. down tilt! Dash attack not gonna kill. Good DI, barely saving him. And the back throw, still not gonna kill. Snake at 179 right now. Oof. Oh, oh he's gonna be it's gonna be incredibly difficult for him to recover now because I believe it's getting to the point to where Bear should kill him off of the cipher. Oh yeah. Uh, so right now we're just gonna so Snake tribes up a stock at about one. Ew, wow, still gonna live at 193. Man, Tron is just struggling to get the stock out of the way. So, uh, hopefully, Snake Tribe can get a bit more percentage, get that extra credit going on. I'm gonna miss the back here. That'll kill him that time for sure. Up throw to take off that second stock. Going into our last stocks here, Snake Tribe with a 16% lead. See if he can close it out. Oh, he's doing some sneaky stuff right now. Right. Gonna get a firm of the back air off the grenade. Uh, ooh, the C4. Mm. Oh, uh, dangerous spot. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna take the last stock with a down air. Getting the Oof. strike. Oof, indeed. Ooh, that was rough. Anyway. <laughs> I'm still oh, incredibly behind. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> we, just, we just ended it. Uh, let's make sure we can get you back in here. Can you join? Um, I can't. I. Oh, you're in spectator. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm in spectator. Yeah, I'll be able to see Tron. <laughs> My man. All right. So we're gonna figure out uh, what Tron is gonna ban here. <laughs> oh no, this man said <laughs> <laughs> That's a snake tribe man. He's he's uh, he's honestly one of the more chill people I've uh, I've met in the scene out here. So mm. Alright. Yeah, so it has been brought to my attention that Fair cannot actually fight through Cypher. No matter the knockback, that's a little bit disappointing. <laughs> Why do we have Oh we have 
<laughs> two layos right here. I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> it's a layoff. Layo layoff. Layo. 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 Now let's see, because now we're at the Air Force, what is it, uh, four stocks to three right now, mm -hmm. I believe. It is in favor of Arkansas. Um, mm -hmm. So Tron is going to, if he, he's going to want to get as many stocks as possible during this. Oh yeah, Instead of for, sure. for the anchor. All right. See if they can ground the Air Force. <laughs> well, I mean, all, I mean, Pikachu does have lightning, and we had this whole joke that once there's lightning within five, that just shuts down the Air Force in general. Well, hey, man, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, he is a Pokemon. You know, Pikachu's a Pokemon, and flying is weak against electric types. Just putting that out there. Yeah, that, that, that is a fair point. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, very, it's super effective. Like, <laughs> we'll see uh, what's happening here. Our stuff together here. I believe they're picking these stages. We're going to yeah. final destination. Oof. FD. But who's the uh, who is the last person for the Air Force? Uh, we have Funky. Uh, Funky, Funky is actually a uh, Nestman. <laughs> a Nestman. Yeah. Oh no 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 yeah. no no no! Oh, it's, it's no, a, you don't understand. It, you don't it's gonna understand. Be a, well, what do you I don't understand? understand. This is a character, Ness. Ness is a character that Tron has some experience against. We have an amazing Ness in Arkansas. Oh, do we? Uh, who goes by? Oh, he has so many names, different tags. I think it's Beam Boy right now. No, Tiger Millionaire. Tiger Millionaire. Is the people's that's camp. a good name. The people's that's, Ness. That's it a good is. name. And he's a good Ness. And that is the main, the main thing. And so he has some matchup experience. All right, well, we'll see if that experience can come into play here and see if Leo can knock out Leo. Here. <laughs> oh, wait, let me get let me get the screen. Let me get the screen. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm still not used to the overlays. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we're back in. Don't worry. Okay, okay, fire. Right. Using the, the back throw, that's a really interesting use of that. I'm surprised that he didn't go for down throw. Um, yeah. I guess he wanted to just kind of, like, throw him off stage, uh, set up some pressure there. But I'm guessing he's just to get him off stage and see what see what uh, options they take, see how they react to things. That, that, that's my guess. Uh, Funky did that a lot when we were doing our tryouts uh, earlier this week. Um, so I'm just guessing that's just a play style. That's just how what he likes to try and do. But right now, Pikachu at 86%. And obviously, we, uh, we're all aware that 86% is a very good percentage for Ness here. Mm -hmm. so now we're getting to the... Oh, now definitely if he is... Oh, <laughs> that's the eye. And uh, I was about to say, like, if he gets to the ledge, it's back throw. He's going to be caught. That's probably why he, he just does the back mad. throw, man. <laughs> just because, like, if normally, normally people like to try and get, you know, a couple hits in, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and again, it kind of gives you time to react to the DI. He just grabs them, just, just hucks them. <laughs> All right. Get out of here. <laughs> Oof. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. That was. So anyway, Whoa. yeah, got a lot of experience against a really good Ness player in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Flint <laughs> <laughs> tastes great, don't it? <laughs> I'm gonna say a dang thing whenever Maggie comes in here. I mean, I'm you know, not just, gonna talk over. Oh, just, just, you know, just not like it's married. What, what's happening? You know, <laughs> what's, what's, who's Maki play? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> uh, Maki plays Palutena. Oh, we got a Palutena man. Okay, this mm -hmm. is gonna be a very good final. Uh, oh yeah, no, definitely. One of Arkansas's best, the top three, top one players of Arkansas. Top three, top one players. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's like, it, it is very one. difficult. It is very difficult to really quantify the best, like in a way that's kind of undisputed. They both have uh, very similar records against each other mm -hmm. in a way. And Maki hasn't even played Danby since a tournament that happened like at launch and that doesn't really count especially since like Danby was one of the people that like 
got the game, you know, that like pirated the game two weeks early. Uh-huh. Oh, uh huh. Oh, I, I know. I remember that. I remember when that happened. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. And it was like, you know, <laughs> results from then don't count if you have that, you know, that edge. Uh, but, you know, it's very, like they don't really play each other that much. So there's not a lot of cross play between the three regions of Arkansas. So we're going to see Ness and Politana. Any good Politanas there in the Air Force? Uh, in the Air Force? Um, yeah. I don't, I don't personally know. Uh, again, this is the whole Airman fights. Uh, we're very, very grassroots at the moment. <laughs> um, uh -huh. So we're still in the early stages. So the thing right. is, is like, I feel like we've got a decent team, uh, and we only have had the word out there for so long. And right. when we have some guys who are as good as we are, but we're not even like that much on the map, I know we have better people out there. So, oh yeah, no, 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 no doubt. As of now, we don't have any Palutena's I'm aware of. Uh, in North Dakota, we have a couple Palutena's and they do pretty okay uh, generally. Um, but uh, other than that, oh wait, no, we do have one, uh, I think they made PR. They're, they do Palutena Krom, that's uh, unreal. Mm. Uh, that's just Ooh. in North Dakota though. Mm. Okay, so you're you yourself is from uh you're from up, uh, North Dakota. Uh, I am not from North Dakota. Uh, they hang on, they fit down in the city. Um, ready? So anyway, uh, so no, I'm not from North Dakota. I'm actually you know in the Air Force myself. I'm actually <laughs> from Massachusetts. So ah, uh, <laughs> but I didn't really start diving. Uh, really into the smash scene until I got into North Dakota. Um, basically, I'm the big commentary guy up here. So mm. we're gonna be getting into our game. Oh wait, don't want to overlay up. Overlay. Okay, overlay's on. Good. Okay, so we're getting into our game one here. You got a lot of background mm -hmm. noise coming in, by the way. Oh, wait. Oh, do I? Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, I have the these whole game there. audio. <laughs> That's, oh, that's my bad. Yeah, here, I'll just mute the game, on, uh, game audio. Okay. So, we're getting so, into our final. This is it. This is the last three mm -hmm. stocks. This is, last the, and this is how you want it to be, right? Oh, the yeah. Last two, the two anchors with three stocks apiece. Absolutely. So, hopefully, we get a good show here. Either way, it's been a fun, uh, fun crew battle. Had a good time commentating mm -hmm. this. So, mm -hmm. hopefully, they can just bring it home and give us the performance we want. And so right now, it's a really just kind of a slower paced match right now. They're kind of filling each other out. Mackie at the four, you know, he got really good pressure having Funky up on that platform with those nares. And now Funky was able to kind of wrap it back. Really back and forth. Mackie unable to uh, convert <laughs> that back air off that down throw, though. Uh, but Leo in a bad spot. Oh, sniping! Oh, he's not the PK Thunder! The Ooh. PK Thunder. That's unfortunate. <laughs> no, that, that is extreme. That is the word for that. Is unfortunate. Well, oh, we'll, see, we'll see if uh, Funky, Funky able to fight his way down with that dare. Oh. We'll have to see if Funky can, uh, you know, maintain his composure, come back from this, get this stock back. But right now, man, Mackie seems like they're starting to go on a roll. Because mm -hmm. you do not want to give Mackie momentum. Uh, that's just like a Palutena in general. Once a Palutena has a lead, it just feels like it takes an eternity to make it come. Because, you know, how you deal with that Nair and, you know, even kind of like the spike, the overusing the hitbox on that down smash, but not able to really keep her on the ledge too much longer. Okay, yeah, you're so not going to... So after the nerf, down throw the bear isn't really confirmed unless you DI in. Yeah, that, that's true, that's true. I forgot about that. Oh, catching with the upper. Almost like the stock, the back air. The double jump. Ooh. Did it need the down throw? It's looking a little rough for us right now. But I have faith. I have faith that Funky's going to pull out the biggest comeback of all time. Well, right now, what he would need to get kind of like the ball rolling is the back throw. Like, if he gets Mackie near the ledge, back throw is going to take it. And that back throw is going to take the first stock. So, 40%. On your last stock, but the Paltana is on two stocks. Not bad. Yeah. Absolutely doable. Normally, I, I would. Normally, I would not say. I normally I would say this is still doable, but he is doing this against Mackie. This is not doable. Go ahead, go <laughs> ahead, put out the tweet. Say congratulations, Arkansas. 
<laughs> Smack, he has this in the bag. Listen, he has it, that, doesn't matter. I hope Funky doesn't take the stock here because it's gonna be a bad time. Because <laughs> all of a sudden, that's when, that's when the nerves start kicking in. Uh oh. Ah, uh, Mackie, this man has no nerves. <laughs> oh, he was reading. Oh. He was reading that air dodge. He was hoping that he was just gonna land on stage. Oh, looking for that grab though. Funky maintaining, uh, getting center stage there, but back off stage, 143. Yep, running straight into that fair. See down throw. Oh. Back yeah. there, go to take it. What did I say, baby? What did I say? I don't know you can't bet against my man back. You kind of just, just, yeah. Listen, you kinda just did a bunch of screeching the entire time. I wasn't able sure, like I wasn't really sure what you were saying. No, 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 no. You don't get to pull that right now. You don't get to pull that right now. <laughs> but you I am pulling pull it right now. Right now. <laughs> no, hey, baby, right. you don't get to. Not after hey. I've been sitting hey. here in McDonald's for an hour. No, watching my man. Uh, Not... it, was, it was good. It was a good. It was <laughs> yeah, a good no, it was a good crew battle. <laughs> But anyway, uh, very good stuff. Uh, <laughs> I want to throw out there real quick. Um, <laughs> thank you to the, um, thank you to Arkansas coming out here. Um, oh, no, yeah, oh, no. yeah, coming yeah, out here all the for, way from home. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the thanks for the airmen to you know hosting this deal. Uh, we, yeah, it's uh, it's something that we've been uh, we've kind of really had in the works for a little bit. I came in late, so I don't I'm not gonna take any credit. All I did all is right. just kind of get this smash team together. But we appreciate you guys coming out here. Played against our people. Really good. All time. right. So